Made me extremely ill, had to remove it after six months, do not recommend. Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here, welcome back. It is a joy to have your beautiful face here today. Today we're gonna to be talking about people's experience with getting the coil. I have been through a few different forms of contraception recently and it would appear that the best bet I think might be to get the coil but the copper coil because I don't want hormonal contraception that is one thing that I'm so so sure about but of course I would have to turn to you guys first to get some advice because you know you can search on the internet type in whatever you want to google and you know what is the experience of getting the copper coil like you never know what you're going to come up with so the best way to get answers is just to ask you lots on Instagram. So that is what I'm gonna be sharing today. I'm gonna to be sharing your responses. And I actually think this might be the one question that I've asked you guys on Instagram stories where I have got the most responses. I'm literally just gonna go straight in because there's so many and I wanna get through as many as I can without running this video too long. So thank you to everyone for sending in your messages and your answers. Let's get into your responses from getting the copper coil slash IUD. I've had the hormonal one and it's been all right. No periods, but pain putting it in and weeks after. That's honestly what I'm terrified about is the pain getting it in. Someone said that, someone said, getting the coil put in was more painful than childbirth. That, brother, that is terrifying. It's terror, it really is terrifying. Nearly passed out having it out in as my cervix went into spasm. Periods so irregular hated it had it for six months to see if things got better but felt so crap so had it removed cervix went into spasm what what do you mean oh my goodness what went into a spasm <gasps> um nightmare for the first few months pain and irregular bleeding pulled it out by accident guys this is this is also another thing actually aside from the pain putting it in I am so scared that it's going to accidentally pull out and it's not, it will be so painful pulling it out. Fucking big booty Judy fucking pulled hers out with a moon cup, <laughs> took it out, called it T-Pain and stuck it to her fucking desktop. Hilarious, but that's not the point. I don't want to be fucking accidentally pulling it out. My mum said that um, sometimes people can feel it when they're inside you. Hmm, okay, hmm. Tried having it inserted today, but they didn't do it. Said my uterus was too tilted back, cramping for sure. Tried having it inserted, so that means, ah! So you had it put, it was going in and then it just wasn't gonna work. How do you know if your uterus is tilted back? How can I, I need to find that out. Oh, this is actually quite stressful reading this. Um, I have the IUS, I'm not sure what that is. Very painful putting it in, take ibuprofen before doing it. Defo worth it. Okay, that's a positive. And that's a good fucking tip. Take pain relief before. Oh shit, made me extremely ill. Had to remove it after six months, do not recommend. This is my friend. Um, well, my mum had this and CC still exists. So basically her mum had the fucking coil and she still got pregnant. Ah, got one, bled for six months. So I got it removed. Wasn't in pain, just bleeding for ages. Bled for six months. Oh my God, yeah, because you can get longer, more painful periods. Ah, oh no. Never get this shit, bane of my life, bled and got prego. So what's the point? Oh, look, wait, I need to know. I'm, I'm good. The next question I'm going to ask on Instagram is what is the worst contraception for still getting pregnant? First one was bad without hormones, bad periods and pain. Second one, Marina is fine. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm a bit less stressed because this one sounds good. Amazing. Best thing I ever did. Get it at a sex clinic, not a doctor's. They're more experienced. Okay. Okay. That's nice to hear. Bit of relief. Procedure itself, not painful. Hurt like hell for one to two hours after. Been sweet ever since. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's keep let's keep the good responses coming, shall we? Honestly, okay. Just one time it was inserted wrong and pierced the lining of my womb. Had another though. Pierced the lining of your womb. 
Mm. It's fine if you take pain meds and they do it right. Go to a gum clinic, not GP. Okay, so one thing that I'm gathering is that doctors can insert them, but they're not as trained as a sexual health clinic. So go to a sexual health clinic and take pain meds before. Good tip, guys. Thank you. It took about eight months to regulate and I occasionally get pain bleeding between periods, but the insertion was painless for me. Insertion? Insertion. Okay, okay. All right, guys, fear not. This is from a guy. Thumbs down from both exes. It's a no from us. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you. I've got a marina, babe. It's fine. Little sore going in. Okay, so what's the marina? I need to look into the marina. But if that's hormonal, I don't want hormonal contraception. I really don't. So painful. My periods are mad heavy and I keep getting BV. <sighs> BV, thrush has been the bane of my life recently if you don't know watch this video here it's been a very stressful time for for my vagina and my vulva it's still a little bit sore the insertion hurt like fucking hell even with pain relief but god it's so great now no issues so is it looking like i'm actually just gonna have to endure the insertion pain and then it's in there for seven years isn't it and then I just got to worry about the pain coming out. You know what? Oh, wait, let's just keep going. Ah! This is my guy friend. I could feel it when I was having sex, but I got the big thing, so it is what it is. <laughs> what does it feel like? Okay, you can just feel it. So is it a good pain? Is it a good feeling, a bad feeling? Like what? Because it's just the little strings, the little dangly dangs hanging in the back of your throat. Oh yeah, look, this is my mate. Oh, this is my big booty Judy. The fucking worst. Horrific period pain and the strings stab dicks. No, they don't stop. They don't soften. So, okay. The answer's that. The strings stab <laughs> Just out of here stabbing. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my other mate just put pain. Great. Thanks, babe. Ah! Mine dropped, causing me to hemorrhage and being in hospital overnight. Uh, uh, ah, I'm sorry that happened to you. Constant bleeding, not always heavy, and discomfort but not pain. I've had the marina on my second one, fucking love it. No period unless I catch hormones. Off my stepdaughter, I might get a light one, took a couple months to settle, okay? I've heard from my mother that the copper coils makes cramps worse and bleeding heavier. This is, okay, I think I'm gathering that the copper coil makes the bleeding worse and the hormonal one doesn't, okay? Oh, don't do it. Ah! My coil fell out and caused loads of bleeding. My best mate is in hospital having an ovary removed due to getting an infection. She has been in pain two years and the doctors didn't know it was caused by her coil. Ah! Fuck. Horrific. Never again. Don't watch the YouTube insertion videos before you get it. It was the worst experience of my life, truly. Made my periods horrific and so much pain during sex. However, switched to marina, hormonal and no problems. Love it. That seems to be common experience. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> this, this seems to be the common experience. Okay. Completely fine. Lots of pain first few days and change in smell. Bit coppery. <laughs> for a few months okay tried it again after having a kid and didn't have any pain whatsoever it really depends yeah i fucking hear that that makes sense to be fair had mine three years the first year was amazing but this last two years have been hell getting it out in two weeks how can it be okay for a year and then it's not okay after that that what the hell that's so not cool bro ah! cervical shock painted bad periods for six months removed oh they literally couldn't get it in. Two tries in one, on one day. Cervix of steel. I was a bit sore after. <laughs> oh, fuck. Amazing, but the most painful experience to get done. Nearly passed out. I threw up for 10 hours straight due to the intense pain. And I have a high pain threshold. She threw up for 10 hours because of the pain. <laughs> if you already have bad period cramps and bleeding, it makes it worse. So much worse that during a period the cramps were so strong my uterus expelled it. Now nah, my mum. <laughs> Fuck! Terrible! I feel they should ultrasound scan you prior to insertion due to my then unknown womb abnormal. Due to my then unknown womb at womb 
abnormality, it was sat completely wrong and hurt bad. That's a good fucking point. They should fucking ultrasound you to see what they're working with on the inside. That makes a lot of sense, does it not? Best thing I ever did. Hurt at first, but the freedom and peace of mind it gives you makes up for it 1000%. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, the peace of mind. My sister said when she had sex with her BF, the string pricked his dick. <laughs> Any people with dicks out there who have got experience having sex with someone who's got a coil, please share below. <laughs> I don't have a copper one, but I got a hormonal one because I have endometriosis and my cramps were so bad and such, so I got one and it completely stopped my periods. No cramps, no bleeding. Okay. Fucking awful. I pulled that shit out myself in a rage. Ah! What? <laughs> okay. Spent the rest of the insertion day on the couch. For a year, my cramps were very painful, but now they aren't too bad. Just a bit crampy on day two. I will say for that year, my periods went from five days to eight days and now they're about 6.5 but super light after day two mine's good for five years and after one year it's been ace oh my god this is so there is there are so many so many so many okay kit is still going guys i can't lie to you i'm just gonna go through and just stop i pulled my coil out when taking my cup out <laughs> best thing i ever did was sick of hormones it's more uncomfortable than painful Absolute agony, got it taken out within a week. <sighs> Don't even know it's there. Okay, the best, no hormonal, no hormones, normal periods, love it. Apart from thrush constantly, absolutely brilliant. <sighs> Don't do it, no. So painful to have put in like ridiculous, heavy ass periods, but no hormones, thumbs up. I was so scared, but it wasn't that bad. It only hurt for a few seconds. <sighs> First year is hell, the rest is okay and it really works. Traumatized, I was completely traumatized when and. When I'm asked about it, my anxiety goes mad. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. It would appear that there are a lot of responses that I'm actually gonna definitely have to compile and put on, I'm gonna share it on Instagram. So I'll make an Instagram post and I'll just share everyone's responses. I'm gonna try and share as many as I can because there's so many people and you all took your time to put your answers and I really appreciate that. What I've gathered from today is that it would appear that it is really one of those things where you will never know how it will affect you unless you do it. Asking for advice, though yes, it has been very interesting it's also like so many mixed responses and that is just down to the fact that everyone's body is different so your body's going to react to it differently so yeah i think this has helped me actually in terms of thinking there's so many bad experiences but so many good experiences there's only one way for me to know if i'm gonna have a bad or a good experience and it's just to go for it so guys i think i'm gonna do it um comment down below if you would like me to update you on that yeah <laughs> scary very fucking scary but you know what i don't want babies currently so um it would appear that i'm gonna have to get some foreign object shoved into my vagina